Jared Joplin with American Precision Lens. And today I'm going to introduce you to one of the newest products. It's a new set of rings that we've come out with. We have a patented locking mechanism on these rings. Instead of the standard uh, Picatinny system that just wedges on and is really sensitive to uh, torque settings, um, this latch can rotate in here. And the way that it locks is this whole latch can manipulate itself until all of these surfaces inside here, 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 and here contact. So it basically adjusts itself on your rail. So if your rail is a little bit out of spec, this ring will adjust itself to your uh, the rail and it's not necessarily torque sensitive. So the attempt is to show you how this works today. You're gonna to be making these in 30s, 34s, 35s, and 36s. As you can see here, there's a three and a four. We're testing 34s today. And on the back side, we've got the size here. Again, these are uh, one inch 31s, 34 millimeters. There's an arrow, two arrows right there, so you can tell you've got the cap lined up the right way because people wanted that. But anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna, uh, I just zeroed the gun at 100 and um, I'm gonna shoot a group and then I'm gonna take it to 400 and shoot a group there. I'm gonna pull the scope off just with the standard torque wrench and without any settings, I'm gonna tighten it back down by hand. I'll do one that's light and then I'll do one that's hard and we'll shoot it at distance and at 100 and show you that nothing changes. So having that returnability to zero is a huge deal. If you ever have to swap out optics or anything ever goes wrong, you have to take that thing off. These things don't kind of return to zero, they return to zero. But having the confidence to just stick it on there or in a backup, we've in competition, we've had plenty of optics break. We've had a backup optic and we slapped it back on there and we're right back to the races. Okay, now I'm gonna use my torque wrench. I'm gonna pull, um, pull the scope off and put it back on by hand with no torque setting and show you that it will return to zero. And once we do a light setting, we'll go back and we'll do a heavy setting and show you that there's no difference. So scope's off, put it back on in the same slot Put this screw back in. Put it back on in the same slot because these bases are tapered, so it's gonna need to go in the same spot. Push it forward against the rail so it locks up in exactly the same spot. Okay, just doing this with my fingers like this about as tight as I can. I'll snug them up. So, and I'm just gonna take my fingertips, tighten the wrench. Oh, tighten the wrench best I can. And we're gonna shoot a group at 100. And we're gonna shoot a group at 400. Same target. All right, now I'm gonna take them off and we're gonna torque it down tightly this time. Now the top screws are important so you don't damage your optic, uh, but the side screws, only thing you're gonna damage is the screw. You're not gonna damage the ring. Well, this time I'm putting a fair amount of force on these. Um, we're gonna go back to 100. Okay, 
Okay, now let's go down the range and I'll show you our two targets and let's see what we did. All right, we are at the 400 yard target and you can see here's our main group. I've got one flyer up here, but to be fair, this gun has thousands of rounds through it. It's been through one PRS finale. So uh, she's, she's got some rounds on her. Maybe that was me, I don't know, but I like to blame it on the gun. But you can see we've got uh, eight shots in here. Um, my aim point was here. I was trying to make it hit a little high so I didn't blow my spot out, my aiming point out there. But eight shots in here, one flyer, but that has nothing to do with taking the scope on and off. So anyway, you can see that's not kind of returning to zero. That is returning to zero. Okay, you can see here I do have uh, one shot a little bit high and one a little bit low. Um, there's seven shots in the middle there We're pulling the scope on and off working it down by hand and some ciders there but anyway you can see that we are returning to zero